Hello guys, welcome back to some more T-Rock Skybox. I know I haven't been recording, but since I started school, it's kind of oh, difficult. Anyways, alright, here we go. Let's look at our mods here. So, of course I got a cheat room here. Excited to get some coin. Um, okay, Landlord is the model we checking out here. Forgot to take a picture of the authors here, but... Eh, I don't see his name in here. Let me see here. Let's scroll up. Alright. Um, we got the Grey Cow of Nocturnal. Which is actually a quest while, you know, obviously I'm not going to get through it. So. But. Alright. For Ram Armor from Dark Souls. Uh, I'm not sure what the full name is. But. Let's see here. No issues for the initial uh, buy as as rail. Okay, and then this is Mib three fifty seven classic scythes Xbox One. So I'm guessing Mib three five seven is the author. Okay, and then Dolomite Precipitation. So, Alright, here we go. So you can actually sort of see the precipitation going on. Of course, with the rain, but you can see with like fog and stuff too. So, yeah. It's supposed to make the raindrops a little more spherical than just lines. But yeah, you can see the fog and stuff going on, which is nice. But... First things first, we gotta go buy freaking business here. So. Oh, yeah, I gotta show you the Dark Souls armor, too. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, there's two types of helmets. I don't know if there's much difference in the other one. Uh, here we go. Uh, I guess the opening's a little more, I guess. But I like this one. So. Alright. So that's the armor. Here's the scythe. I'll, I'll hit you with this scythe, little girl. But anyways, this is the steel scythe here. Um, and then the iron scythe is the other one. Here's the other one. Look very kind of pretty similar. But those are the scythes, so I'll be using that in the video. So here we go. We'll go to, back to the steel scythe. So, all right, let's go buy some businesses here. See how well this works. Let's see here, we gotta talk to the owner here. I'm glad we're friends. I have something for you here. Oh, thank you. Ah, you just made me over encumbered. Thank you. I appreciate it. Drop that right in your face. What do you need, my friend? Can we talk about your business? Of course. I would like to buy your property. How much? What about eleven thousand? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. How the heck? Of course. It's all in this note. Huh. Come back anytime. Interesting. Remedy. Interesting. Where's that note at? Test Jeff Tankard? What's that? The Dancer's Flute. Where the frick is that letter? But it'll be books, right? Property tile. Here we go. By this letter, I hereby certify that the Imperial named Kyle is now the co owner of the following property. Arcadius Cauldron. The property has been invested in for the price of 11,214 septums. Arcadia is still in charge of the actual work in the property. In case of death, this contract is considered null and void. Oh, that's freaking sweet. Huh. Let's go buy some more businesses. Let's go put a monopoly on freaking Whiterun. Let's do it. Let everything go through me. 
All right. What else should we buy? Let's buy the general store. What is it? All right, Bellathor, give me your stuff. I'm gonna be Let your new owner, sir, like. or at least co-owner. Everything's for sale, my friend. Every Can we talk about your business? Of course. I like to buy your property. How much? Same thing. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Of course. It's all in this note. All right. I guess. I don't really don't want to simulate a week, but you're supposed to get incomes. Let's see here. What else business should we buy? Oh yeah, there's a business down here. More of a tavern down here. Let's go buy this. The Drunken Huntsman. I want to buy your business, sir. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Of course. How much? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Nice! We have three businesses, baby. All right. Well, that mod, that, if the mod gives you weekly incomes and stuff, that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's buy out, oh, that's Bree's home. Let's see here. Can I talk to her, maybe? I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in nah, I have to talk to the guy in here. Let's buy war maidens. Have you met my father? He's a steward of the Dragon's Reach. Welcome to war, of course. How much? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that oh, you made that, this decision. Yeah. Oh, jeez. He must have added like all kinds of freaking businesses. But anyways, that's just a taste of it. That's cool. I like this. I mod. My father Man, I like the three mods so far. Uh, of course, the fourth mod is the precipitation, which is actually working out pretty well, from what I'm seeing. So now. Let's start up the quest mod here. So, alright, so I gotta pickpocket somebody. So I'm gonna save before I get in trouble. Alright, here we go. Pickpocket this I idiot. For... Uh, you general jerk, you turn around. Divine slap power. you. Alright, let's steal from this punk. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Oh, shut up. Everyone is obsessed with death. Shut up. You don't see me. I'll take this gold. <laughs> what you're doing. Shut your face. Oh my god! What am I saying? Of course you don't. Holy freaking crap, what is that? It's a map to somewhere. It was like in the top left corner. The Call of Grey Cow of Nocturnal! Yes! Ah, oh, that was a cool start. I like it. I like it already! Alright, so we gotta pull out the quest here. God dang it. Press the wrong button. It's crack. Here we go. Reach the place. I had a strange vision in my mind. I also know where to go now. Ha ha. All right. Here we go. Where we gotta go? This way. And yet we have to walk super far. So we get to look at the precipitation while we make it. So. All right. Here we go. Onwards. So, we get to use the Dark Souls armor and the scythe. Yes, let's freaking do it. Alright, here we go. Look how freaking clean Skyrim looks right now. Alright. As soon as we run into some enemies, we're gonna chop chop. It's a freaking Grim Reaper. Here we go. Grim Reaper, son! Yeah! It's Dark Souls Skyrim, baby. Dark Skyrim, that's what it is. 
What would sound better? Dark Skyrim or Skyrim Souls? Kind of like Dark Skyrim. Skyrim Dark. Haha. <laughs> Should give her a scythe. You know what? Let's give her a scythe here. Here, take this scythe. What do you need to take? Here. I want you to have this. Take the iron one. Now, I want to equip it. Give. Yeah! Let's yeah, baby! I should have made her some freaking Dark Souls armor. God dang it. Why well, I wasn't thinking. Darn it. This freaking kill. Yeah! I always wanted to play Dark Souls and Skyrim, baby. Now, if we can just ramp. Well. I guess I could. I could just amp the difficulty up, but still. I have to make the enemies so we can do dodging in that, just like Dark Souls. Make some nice bosses. Ready for this? Let's do it. Let's walk the path. Yes. Yes. Got over here. Got some birds. Ow! I gotta try you stupid thing, no! God dang you! Gave me a disease, you filthy animal. What is that? Come here! I'm gonna go all Grim Reaper on your ass. Come here! Come here! Don't you run away from me! Oh, you foul creature! God dang it! Go screw yourself! Alright. Fortunately, we don't have any precipitation going on here. Butterfly! Ah! I missed. I don't have good hand eye coordination with the scythe. Too big. What is that thing? Oh, they spit a fireball. Let's go get them. It's a necromancer. Come here, boy! Uh, 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 uh. Yeah! Take it, son. Yeah. All right, baby. Get the moose. Or is that an elk? I can't tell. It's too far away. The elk! Get the elk! Oh no! Chopping up! No! Stop chopping up! Oh, come on, man. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god, I'm gonna pause. You will not stop chopping up! Stop! You're ruining it! No! Come on. They can fix itself finally. Oh! Freaking thing. Come here! Oh, yeah! Go get it. Chase it down like a moron. Dude, the fur looks freaking awesome on this armor, man. Ow! Who laid this piece of crap bear trap there? You stupid piece of crap. Who was that jerk off? 
Leave it there for no reason. Here, you fools. Now you're mine. Yeah. Yeah, sons. You like me now. Who are you fighting? There's a jerk over here. All right. Oh, hello, foals. Stay sharp. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, take it. Yeah. All right, baby. Wow, my follower is a turtle.
Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. Are you speak quickly? A vision. What are you talking about? By the gods, what kind of vision did you have? The dragonborn has come. You're here. Finally, you're here. My family has been waiting for generations, Dragonborn. Yes, that's right. I am Seviana Ambranox, and this is my husband, Nuvian. We are the keepers of the Arrow of Extrication. Please, make yourself comfortable. I will tell you the whole story. Everybody knows that the Fourth Era began when Menura's Dragon was defeated and sent back to Oblivion thanks to the sacrifice of Martin Septim and the Champion of Cyrodiil. My ancestor was the illegitimate and secret son of Corvus Umbranox. He was the Count of Umbra 200 years ago. Few know, perhaps nobody, that Corvus Umbranox was the notorious Grey Fox. legendary leader of the Thieves Guild. The story of the Grey Fox is not well known, but everybody wrongly thinks that he is immortal. Well, it's not like that. The Grey Fox was, during centuries, many different people. You might ask yourself now, why didn't anyone notice when he turned into a new person? It's thanks to the mysterious cowl of Nocturnal that makes the person wearing it look exactly the same as the one before. It also gave him the power to become a master in thievery. After Corvus, the champion became the new Grey Fox. The champion, just before dying, nominated Corvus to take care of the cowl while waiting for the Dragonborn to arise. That's because, at the time, there was no member of the Thieves' Guild worthy of wearing the cowl. So, he decided that the Grey Fox would be someone more worthy. A Dragonborn. The last one was Martin Septim, who was the son of the Emperor Uriel Septim VII. After 200 years, a new Dragonborn appeared. And it's you. The mission of my family is now accomplished as I give you the Arrow of Extrication. 
Yes, it's the call of the Grey Fox. He knows who you are, what you want, and why. He also knew you were going to arrive here. He's waiting for you in a secret place where only a dragon can enter. In the mausoleum of the champion of Cyrodiil. Tamriel thinks he was buried in his old mansion in Anvil. But that's not how it is. It is nothing but an empty grave. It was my ancestor, Corvus, who informed the High Chancellor Okato about the champion's last wishes. Okato, eternally grateful, did not hesitate to fulfill the champion's wishes. So Okato built the mausoleum secretly while Corvus oversaw the project. To find a mausoleum, you must think as a member of the guild, as a thief. My mission is to give you the arrow and to show you where to start your quest. You will need this key as well. Take it, it will open the gate of the place where you're headed. The champion said that you will understand everything during your mission. And now, go. Grey Cow is waiting for you. One last thing. Nobody is to go with you. This is something that you have to do alone. Whoever should go with you on this journey will not know to step over the threshold of the place that should the clock and may not turn on either. you in the back.
way. I don't even know if my mic was muted or not. Darn it. Dang it, I'm lost. Can I go up this tree, maybe? Darn it. Crap, man. I want to get over there. Let's go this way. Is it like up this way or? I gotta figure out how to get in there. So it's supposed to, so yeah, the snow is supposed to be dense here. I wanna head in there. So we gotta get up in there somehow. I really gotta get my endurance of my character up a little more. Crap, man. Freaking heck. Maybe I actually have to go in there. All right, let's head back in there. It says pa a bone, it's bone heat passage. So, all right, so let's head back. Here we go. Let's head straight through. All right, here we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, my face. Oh, hello, Mr. Bear. Look at that. Oh. Hurt. Wait a minute, I can just... Do this. There you go. I will destroy you. There we go. Where's that bear at? That thing down. So I'll do this next part of the quest and I'll call the video this. All right. Now oh, my dog's scratching. So. <laughs> oh, hello. Screw you, buddy. I'm doing a quest. I don't have time for you. What the frick? No! How do I get up there? What the freaking heck, man? Come 
on, there has to be a way up there. Dude, how the frick do I get up there? Dragon's gonna be annoying. Oh my god, how do I get up there? Jeez. What the frick, man? Come on, man. How close am I? Crap. Can't even tell. Darn it, man. God dang it. It's apparently stuck back there. Darn it. Quick save, I'm just saying. Alright, here we go. Find a little path, anyways. Let's see if this goes around. Kill the bunny! <clears throat> I missed. Wait a minute, we might be on a path! Oh, yes! Yes! Here we go. Now we're on a roll. Alrighty.
Is this it? Eye of Cyrodiil. Nice. How do I get in here? Is there any keys or anything? Frick. No key. Opens the door. Darn it. Can I go around? Go through here. Let me go first person. Maybe I can see this a little better. How the frick do I get through these things? Gate will not open. Can I use the item the lady gave me? Great. The freak. All this crap in here. I sure what to use. Here we go. What the frick? I have the key. What the frick? I want to use that. Arrow of extra extrication. Freaking open the door! Darn it! Just open the door! Open! Darn it! Open the freaking door! Go this way, maybe. Unlock Skyrim. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did I open the door? I might have opened the door. Let's go back. Here we go. Let's go back. Hopefully the doors has opened. They have, yes. Here we go. They no, they did not open. Darn it. They're both. Ugh. Darn it. Great, I have to go. Oh, it's the way back. Jesus. What is this crap? Freak, where am I? This is dude! 
the frick? Why am I way up here? No! God dang it, get back up there. Get up there! Get up there! No! Get back up there, you jerk off! Come on! Jump! Jump! No! Get up there! You jerk off! You're right there! Just... Look at this! Get up there, you jerk! Come on! No! Come on! Ah, screw it! Run a boom! Alright. Nothing to do up here. No! God! You st Ooh. Dang it, man. Nothing to do up here. Now where am I? Did I open the gate? No! I'm stuck! Are you freaking kidding me? Get me out of here! Oh, come on, man! What the frick is this? I got stuck. I've just gotten stuck three times now. Oh, my goodness. Door is still shut. Dude, there's only one friggin' lever. Quit with your stupid breathing. It's freaking annoying. See, I bet the other lever is over there somewhere. Can I jump over this? Get over there. Come on. Jump. Oh my God. Just jump. 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 You dumb moron. Just jump. You stupid moron. No. That's not what I wanted to do. God dang. Dummy. Just jump. Goodness, you stupid dragonborn. You've got a brain of an ant. Oh, you're so stupid. Dumb dragonborn. It's still locked. What the heck? God dang it. This opens the door. The door needs to be open. Any way over here, I can climb up. Here, here we go. My goodness. The other door should be open after I pull this lever. It better be. There. Just jump down. Oh, you stupid moron. Just jump. Look at this bullcrap. He's right there. Just, you stupid. Freaking vault over the wall! Are you that stupid, Dragonborn? My god! Jesus! Oh, you're so stupid. Alright, finally. My goodness. Here we go. All of the initiation. Why am I so slow? Here we go! Can I 
can jump down. So jump down, maybe. Possibly. Alright, let's go. Oh. Here, let's jump through this window. Come on! What's with all the. Oh, yay, yay! Right now. Do I run right past it? Here we go. Great Fox Plus. Uh-oh. Here we go. Check this out. As freaking Dark Souls! Yeah, the old way of the thief. Go. No way over here. Key up to chamber. Where do I take that side? Say any door. Here, wait, here we go. Go, go, go. Alright, so we got a ladder. Going nowhere. Oh, wow. Look at this. Reach the other side. Here we go, Assassin's Creed. Oh, hello. Point the way. Light your way. Line your way. See your way. Make it clear. AI. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Adrenaline. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. It's a freaking puzzle. Oh, I don't want to restart all that. Alright, guys. Well, that's probably the best place to stop, really. I'm sorry, almost an hour we're in. So, alright, guys. So, uh, just to do a quick review here. So, we checked out Landlord. Um. The Grey Cow of Nocturnal we were doing, but it's a quest mod, so I'm not going to get through the whole thing, of course. Uh, Dark Souls Armor, pretty cool, classic size, and then the Precipitation mod. I have to say, they were all pretty good this time around. I liked them. So, peace out, guys.